Do you ever not eat for a period of time and then you're just like stressing inside? You're like internally just stressing and then you do go to eat your meal and you just relax. So it's just a great gift to feed yourself on time, routinely, and that's what this video is about. And this is what I eat in a day. At this point in my day, I usually like to just chill for a minute, watch a couple of videos from one of my favorite local YouTubers, Adriano Fiore. And uh, he's got a new video today, actually. So, let's watch it. And shout out you, Ante, killing it. Big, big G. So this is what we're working with for breakfast today. Yams, gonna boil them. Spinach, mushroom, and egg. And I'm just gonna put it in a bowl and that's gonna be my breakfast. We got a freeloader on the balcony. He's looking for breakfast, but He's, he's trying to get it for free, but we don't do that out here. It costs money. I pay rent. I pay bills to make this recipe. Well, this is what we got working with. Yams, egg, spinach, mushroom. I sometimes like to put black bean in this because it just adds a little bit more to it. But I don't have them because I need to soak them overnight for 12 hours, and I forgot to do that. This is a nice hearty breakfast that I like because yams are just so good. I'm going to eat this, just joyfully eat this, and uh, we're going to cut the clip and watch some skating for a bit and vibe and just cut, cut back until lunchtime. <laughs> Here at Quill's Skate Park, really nice place. I came here because it's actually dry out today. Uh, unfortunately though, it's actually very dewy. All the features are a little dewy, so it's the ledges you can't skate right now. Creamy vanilla swirl. Wow, that's a label and a half. This wax better be good. I feel like this wax sucks. <laughs> missing a couple of groceries, so I'm gonna go restock that before I can complete the recipe. Okay, so I got chickpeas and then I re-upped on spinach, red cabbage, broccoli. All right, this is everything I'm gonna be using for my stir fry. This is my lunch. I'm gonna cut it all up and just make sure it's all good. Have you ever gone to like a Donaire sushi pizza place more than twice, three times? 
and just get sick of the aftertaste. It just makes me not want to buy food out anymore. And I also stress out because I'm spending like 10 to 20 hours a day if I do buy food out and it just bums me out. Cooking food just brings the joy back to me and it makes me happier. is my stir fry, udon and vegetables with chickpeas. I don't use meat just because I don't like the texture of it that much with my stir fry. Not because I have a specific diet or anything, I just like how this makes me feel. I like the textures of a lot of vegetables with like a soft base like rice or udon. It just really hits well. That's what I make for lunch. Usually I usually add it for dinner as well, but because this is a special video, I'm gonna give you exclusive bonus footage of me making a pasta. So just don't skip that part because this is some special information. Try it yourself. You'll, you'll be you'll be blessed. Just gonna vibe, enjoy this lunch, and then after that, probably get a little session in, and then go make some dinner. Stay tuned and like this video if you're enjoying these recipes. strained tomato sauce. This is a very pure tomato sauce. And of course we have extra virgin olive oil. Basically what that mufalata sauce was is a mix of green peppers, banana bell peppers, green olives, and other vegetables and spices that you want in your tomato sauce to make it very high in flavor. But right now we're going to simmer it on low heat for two to four hours, ideally, but two hours because I want to eat it pretty soon. The key step here is to put the noodle into the sauce and then stir it. I'm using a penne so it's going to be even more satisfying because the tomato sauce will engulf all the areas and creases of the penne noodle. Do not put the sauce on top of the noodle, you gotta put the noodle into the sauce. That's also what the Italians want you to do. Anyways, we're gonna put the parmesan on top, call it a day, and that's gonna be my video. This you should probably make. Out of any recipe I have on this video, drop a like for this one. That's pretty much a wrap for my video. One of my favorite recipes I make. It's mostly a pleasurable dinner, not something I eat regularly, but something I take joy in in eating. Well, there you have it. That is the pasta, the one that I really cherish and enjoy. I make it in a way that I find suits me best and it brings out the most flavor in the sauce because it has some spice to it, so it enhances it and kind of pierces your taste buds more strongly than standard sauces or sauces I've um, had in, in experience. 
So hopefully you enjoyed that and maybe you will follow along in the recipes. Just leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and more skateboarding. I had a lot of fun making it something outside my comfort zone. Catch you in the next video. I'm out.